everybody, Dave with Patriot Laser Engraving here. Today I want to talk about customizing the EasyCAD software. When you activate your EasyCAD, you get that Chinese language box and the standard splash JPEG. What I'd like to do is show you how you can customize the splash screen JPEG and get rid of the Chinese prompt. Uh, it's real easy. If you if you look at where uh, your if you look at where your EasyCAD launches from. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's a RES folder, which is a resources folder. Go there. And if you look, here's the logo BMP that I created for mine. Uh, it, you know, it's basically I put my lens in here, I uh, put my logo, and I put my lens and the version I'm using so that I know when I open the, the application up, I know what version I'm, I'm on and I know what my lens aperture and everything my, my lens is. And of course, I have, as you've seen on my desktop, multiple uh, copies of EasyCAD, uh, you know, different lens sizes, 420, 110, and a 63. And then I'm, I'm experimenting with EasyCAD, uh, uh, the new version of EasyCAD, which I, I, I haven't done much with. But anyways, the other issue was, if you, if you noticed, this is the English uh, language license agreement that's it, that's in this folder. If you look at the license text file I just copied, I copied over, let me go to one I hadn't modified. This is that uh, the new version I'm playing with. But if you go to the resource folder and you look, there's the old logo that pops up, the old EasyCAD logo. You can modify this image uh, just using your favorite image editor, Photoshop, whatever, as long as you're, you keep your dimensions the same on the photo. And then if you look at the license text file here, it's that it's that, that garbage text file that you would normally see. And then there's a license underscore EN for English here. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rename this file to license.old. Yes. And I'm going to rename this to license.txt. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And now whenever your system whenever your system loads EasyCAD, it's going to pull this license text file, which we see here, and it's also going to pull whatever BMP, logo BMP that you have copied here, which you've seen that I did in my version here. And by the way, I'll explain that in a minute, but so you can see there it is, boom. So you saw over here in my folder, I have an EasyCAD 2.14.10 and a 2.14.10 source. This is an unmolested copy of my EasyCAD installation that I always have and I just copy it into a new folder so that if for some reason I get some corruption of a config file or something goes wacky, I can always just copy the contents over and I've reset my software. You should also notice in your installation for your laser, you'll see some basic settings that come with your laser. I recommend keeping those, keeping those settings separate so that you can always refer back to those. But you can see that I always have, I have a production folder, and in each one of my production folder, I have a source and then the settings that go along with it. So it's important to make sure you separate your production software from your backup so that you're never really putting yourself in jeopardy. You can tinker with the software all you want and to reset it. You just copy the contents back over to your main folder and you're done. So I hope that was helpful and uh, you, you might find some use out of that. Um, another really cool thing to, uh, to mention too is in your EasyCAD, uh, in your EasyCAD software folder, there's going to be an EasyCAD config file and you can open that with, uh, with Notepad. I just say open with, and then I usually say notepad. In here, you can you can play around with some of the settings. Now, I wouldn't recommend you do any of this unless you really know what you're doing, because a lot of these a lot of these are pretty much set by default. And you could you could throw some things off, uh, but you could go in here and you could default some of your settings that you more commonly use. Of course, as you know, when you go into EasyCAD and you exit EasyCAD, it generally retains the last known setting or configuration anyway. But you can get in here and you can tinker around with some of these some of these settings in your config file. Another really good resource uh, is your default INI file. You can set your space distance and gapping. Be careful because it is, and um, you'd have to know what this 
scientific conversion is, but you could do it. So, you know, don't be afraid to experiment. So long as you've got your source copy, you can go in and play around with virtually anything you want. So I hope this is helpful to you. And if you like the video, like and subscribe. Open to your comments and suggestions. Uh, also open to some suggestions about what videos you'd like to see next. This is Dave with Patriot Laser Engraving, and always have a great day.